just are really coming to the grips with the fact that I am probably going to get poured on this trip. Really bad. There's a lot of storms basically everywhere in Florida, but we're on a mission here. We're going to drop the paddleboard in, drop the... I guess that's all we're doing is drop the paddleboard in with some gear and we're going to go spend 24 hours and we'll start the timer the second we hit the water. I'll start a timer on my phone for 24 hours and we're going to be uh, camping and fishing and just seeing what we can accomplish out in the water. Big emphasis on fishing. I brought no food with me at all. Like I brought things to cook food. Like I have a pot, I have a, uh, a pan and like a jet boil system and I brought some oil and seasonings but I didn't bring any food with me. So we catch redfish or trout or a black drum that's legal size and we'll keep it and uh, eat and if not we'll be fasting not eating it's 24 hours you know what I mean like it drives me insane when you see videos like 24 hour survival challenge it's like you can survive 24 hours sitting with your thumb up your butt <laughs> inside a dark room so uh, it's not much of a challenge but uh, I just want to see what we can accomplish so we're going to finish packing everything up and get in the water and Hopefully, hopefully not get absolutely decimated by weather. It stormed so hard last night back home, so fingers crossed that we stay safe. Feeling a bit nervous. <sighs> Pretty excited to try this out right here. This is a brand new setup I literally just picked up this morning from my homies over at Juno Bait. It's a Juno Bait custom rod, Tsunami EVT. A rod feels ridiculously nice. The reel is supposed to be a pretty good horse. So hopefully we'll break it in on some big fish during this paddle. No joke, I didn't have my GoPro rolling because I was just driving. A mullet just leaped into my paddleboard. <laughs> I've never had that happen before. It's your lucky day, buddy. I have circle hooks, I totally could rig them up, but I literally was just paddling and he jumped into my paddleboard. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Slowly starting to rain now. We'll see what happens. I'm like smashed between two giant storms coming out of the east and the west, so. <sighs> I mean, if it rains, it's no big deal. I just don't want to get thunder and lightning on. They're nasty looking storms, but we're getting into some skinnier stuff here, so at least it'll be uh, a little bit of a break from the wind. I'm hoping we can find maybe a big red or a big snook or a big trout back in here. That's the hope, baby. That's the hope. Getting real skinny now, boy. There's a fish. I feel like a little, little red, maybe. Finally. Ooh, might not be as bad as I thought it was. It's been a slow session. The storm got, oh, not a bad red. Not a bad red at all. Way bigger than I thought he was. I don't think he really understood what was going on. Wow, I expected like a 14 inch red to come up. This is like a 25, 27. Maybe not that big, maybe more like a 22, 24. But, oh man, he ate it so gently too. I'm so glad to just be on the board with the fish here. He's got my boat spinning circles. Yeah, he 100% didn't understand what was going on. I hooked him and it literally felt like I hooked into like a small trout or something. Bake, bacon, breaking in the new setup, breaking in the paddleboard mission. Finally got away from the storms and was able to hook into a nice fish. Man, this is what it's about. This is definitely a legal sized fish, but I don't feel like honestly, 
pulling this guy all the way back or dealing with them while I have to set up camp. So it's gonna be his lucky day. Oh my gosh, the hook literally instantly just popped out. Beautiful, beautiful redfish out of the kayak. Super pale, really, really pale fish. The water I'm fishing in is like super, super, like, I don't even know, chalky and muddy. Oh my gosh, that was such a fired up red. <sighs> Feels good to get one. Feels good to get some slime on the hands. up in there. There's one. Ooh, little trout I think. A little snook. What the heck is happening right now? That was freaking oh my gosh. A lady fish. That was trippy. I did not expect to catch one of these guys way back in here. Oh I pulled up myself up into a little cove right here in this big mangrove flat that I'm fishing. I'm gonna drag out my uh, phone out of the dry bag and check the radar and see how we're doing with storms. Not that I can do anything about it, more of just give me a little bit of peace of mind and I can see if it seems like I'm gonna get hit, but I don't know if you can hear it in the GoPro because the audio is never that great, but the wind is just like whipping around me and I can see the treetops like literally swaying from side to side but right now I got myself with like back to the wind in these mangroves so we're, we're pretty tucked up right here but there's a lot of thunder and been seeing some lightning so we're just gonna chill it's, it's a weird thing where normally like when I'm in my boat and I see thunder and lightning I will play it pretty close and fish until I'm like oh crap we need to go because you're in a boat and you can dip out of here it's never a great idea but it's weird being in the paddleboard and having nowhere to be because I'm going to be out here camping on the river for 24 hours I kind of am just like Let's just go chill out for a second like it's okay like time doesn't feel like it's wasted where when I'm on my boat and I know I'm gonna go home at dark it's like every second that I'm not spending fishing is a waste of time but right now it's okay to just chill I guess Well, we're getting ready to make our cross from like the mangrove canals over to the islands where we're gonna camp. It's only about 5.30 right now, but I wanna get set up sooner rather than later. And also this weather's got me real worried. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous right now about our crossing here that we're about to do. I've made the crossing before by paddle, but it's just so windy right now. Luckily it's coming from our back, so we might be able to ride it, but everything's strapped down, got the rod strapped down, got, paddle tied off like fingers crossed it will go without a hitch let's think fingers crossed it goes without anything wrong <sighs> choppier than i thought my brand new reels that i just bought are getting absolutely drenched but i don't want to put them up in my pole holders because of all the lightning around sorry buddies the wind it's so strong right now. I barely make it headway. Like, I have, holy huge lightning bolt out to my right. It's far away right now, but I don't want to get close. The struggle is real. I just saw a manatee. Whew, thank the Lord we are almost there. I'm so glad I left when I did. I thought this paddle was gonna take like maybe an hour, maybe like 45 minutes. It's probably taking me well over an hour and a half, so.
And you can see just by me stopping to talk for two seconds how quickly I lose my heading because of the wind and the current. So uh, we're gonna get up onto the island and get set up camp. Well, I wasn't actually blown away with the uh, selection of spots available on this island here. Okay, this looks like a good spot. This is the third island I've actually paddled to. The other, I've paddled to two different islands before this and they were like literally choked out to the brim. No space to put anything so thickly wooded. And this looks manageable. Like I might be able to put up a hammock in here and set up a little base camp. That's home for the night. I have a mosquito net as well that I'm gonna throw over the uh, hammock when I lie in there, but canopy hopefully will keep me dry from all the rainstorms if we do get hit in the night, and uh, hammock's well elevated off the ground. I put a lot of faith on these paracords to hold my fat ass up, but here's hoping. Um, food, I haven't eaten since around 10.30 this morning. It's, let me give a time update. Left my house at 10.30. It's 721 right now, so we've been on the water for about close to six and a half hours. We like got on the water at like one. Let's see if we can catch some grub. It's not the end of the world, but I know I'll feel a lot better in the morning if I do get something to eat. You know, it's like one thing they don't tell you about being married. I've only been married for about eight months now, but how much you just like miss and love being at home, man. My wife's there, my dog's there, my TV's there, all my food's there. All your comforts at home are just <coughs> sitting out there. And don't get me wrong, like, I love the adventure more than anything in the world. And I want to start doing more stuff like this because I love it, but I'm sitting here thinking, it would be nice to sit on the couch with my wife and my dogs right now, you know? 
but I think it's a good thing. You know, being gone creates that longing and uh, helps you appreciate those type of things, you know what I mean? Hopefully we can get some good shut-eye tonight. I mean, it's only probably 8.15 right now, 8.20. Got all night to sleep and hopefully I don't get murdered. If I do murder, if you watch this footage, upload it to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. But, um, it's hot. I mean, the fire is just more of like, you know, like how do you go camping and not start a fire and also help keep the bugs away here. But, I don't know. I ain't got much to do. I might turn in early. I've had a long day. I'm very tired from paddling and it's been good. In the morning, I think we'll probably not be in a super huge rush to get out of here. Maybe I'll even like wake up, just see when I wake up, fish around the island and then come back over and pack up camp. And then basically fish our way back to the ramp and time our 24 hours and try to be back at the ramp right around one. Hope we can catch some good fish tomorrow. I'm stoked on that nice red this afternoon. It's been good. Well, I didn't die. I slept horribly. Wow. I just like was lit up by bugs all night, even with like coated in bug spray and underneath a mosquito net. I was just getting destroyed by Latin, like little noceums and gnats and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. Truth be, t <laughs> truth be told, like hard time sleeping because so much noise like i could hear fish eating all night around the island and then freaking manatees dude like five or six different times i'd be sitting there like trying to fall asleep and then as i'm falling asleep dozing off you hear <sighs> like the noise just like that and the first time it happened it freaked the crap out of me and then i really quickly realized i'm like oh it's a manatee and but it just happened all night long manatees coming up shallow to feed and just hearing these big old manatees <gasps> like exhaling like there's just someone breathing so heavy down your neck so i ended up not falling asleep probably till like 12 31 and then woke up every single hour on the hour it was like i had my phone on me and it was like i finally fell asleep around one it's like then i woke up at two then i woke up at 3 30 then i woke up at 4 30 and then I woke up at 5.30, and I slept until now, and it's like 6.15 right now. So, we are gonna break down camp and uh, get fishing. I'm not gonna lie, I'm extremely hungry this morning. Kinda is what it is. Maybe if we do end up catching a nice fish, maybe we'll take time to make brunch <laughs> with it. But I mean, we got, let me check the time right now. 7.20 right now. We are a free man done with this at one o'clock. So it's not gonna be in the world if I don't eat, but if we catch them good and we're near an island and the bites, like here's the problem. If I start catching fish, I'm not gonna wanna stop to eat. But if I catch something and it's a good fish and I'm near somewhere that'd be easy to stop and make lunch and we might do it. But we're gonna throw that big camera in the pack and uh, continue paddling. Missing anything, forgetting anything? Nope. 
looks like we were never here. That's how it should be. <sighs> On the move. Alright. I spent probably like the past 30 minutes just paddling. Just trying to make some good headway across the river so I didn't have to paddle my biggest like open water paddle if the wind picked up just get done early in the morning while it's still pretty calm right now we're on top of a nice flat i'm just rolling swim bait around we'll see if we can connect with a big trout or a big red or big anything a good anything you know not feeling super rested but one thing fires me up more than anything in this world and that's fishing so i'm feeling good Oh, I just missed such a good hit right out there. Damn, son. Come on. I feel it feels like he pants me. I feel like my swim base pulled down. Hurt the fish. Nice. Right up on those rocks up there. Curious if this might be a snapper. Oh, little snook. Squeaky snook. Wow, tiny. Oh, okay, there he goes. That's fine. He was a little Jimmy. Well, we caught a fish today. It's been slow, I'm not gonna lie. I'm feeling a little mentally drained here. I just kind of feel like a ghost floating around on this paddleboard out here. Like my head's just not right just from sleeping about three hours and having not eaten in 24 hours, but all's well, not the end of the world. I think we got like three and a half, four more hours till it's one o'clock and our 24 hour time has elapsed and hopefully in between that time we can just whack a good fish. Oh, I just missed the fish right on that point. Oh, he took my shrimp. What? Eleven twenty. This will probably be the last area that we fish before we call it. Nice little backwater pond here that we've meandered our way into. Hopefully there'll be a big red or snook chilling here. Maybe some tarponi. Super slick. Oh, literally the second I skipped off the water, something tried to hit it way up in those mangroves. We didn't get it. Damn. Oh, what's up? Oh, I just hooked the fish. Okay. Oh, baby. Talking to, bye. Talking to my wife on the phone, telling her that I'm almost wrapped up, and uh, that is a tiny, tiny little tarpon. Oh my goodness. That is the smallest tarpon I have ever seen. There he goes. Oh my goodness. That was literally like a 10-inch tarpon. That was insane. Wow, that's really cool. Smoke this paddle tail, man. Feels good to hook into something. I mean, even though that tarpon was tiny, but you know, tarpon ain't too bad. Oh, damn. Just didn't hold it. Well, 24 hours is just about upon us. We're probably at like 23 hours and like 45 minutes so we're gonna start paddling back to the ramp we're not too far from it and get the uh, paddleboard loaded back up and go get some grub man I'm, I'm pretty checked out of it now at this point just because I'm so just like feel drained just from not sleeping food it's whatever like I'm hungry but I just feel drained from not sleeping well and the fishing hasn't been super great today oh, we've had tough conditions you know but it's still been an amazing amazing experience okay thank you Oh yeah, I see them. Right there. Little baby ones.
Back on solid ground. Car is not stolen, so that's a win. After being out in the Florida summer sun for 24 hours, I'll tell you what, the AC in my truck feels good. Time to go get some grub, man. Super fun past 24 hours. Draining, but really, really awesome just getting out there. Hey, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. I know it was a bit different from what I normally do, but I've been really enjoying trying to do different things. So leave some comments down below or drop a like if you enjoyed it. And let me know what other stuff you want to see. I think I want to do some more videos like that, but do it from the boat or skiff, like something with an engine that allows me a little bit more flexibility and mobility. Because the problem was the fishing wasn't that great. And I caught that redfish, which I was stoked on, and then just some small snook and small tarpon. But I basically spent 24 hours fighting against the wind and the weather, just trying to paddle against it. And I couldn't really focus in on fishing all that much because all my effort was spent trying to fight the wind and just paddle and not get blown away. So we went out there and did it with like a, you know, something with an outboard on it. Then it'd be a lot easier and we could jump to different spots and have a much tighter focus on fishing, which is what I was hoping to do. But, you know, you just got to roll with the punches. I appreciate you guys watching and all your support. That's it for me. And uh, until next video, peace.